see beaten by a brave bounty hunter. <laughs> I reckon that old Bessie was a real handful. Take care of this last one, and I'll make it worth your while. Mr. Black, he's a strange one. Truth be told, I ain't even sure if he's alive, but he's hurt a lot of good folks in this town, and he needs taken care of. Hey, 
chicken ass. I'm over here. I'm over here. Judgment Day has come.
Found and claimed on the most wanted head in the territory. You're one hell of a bounty hunter, mister. You'd make me one fine deputy. I just want my money. From what I hear, the wagon hasn't arrived with the bank's gold. You'll have to take that up with Mr. Peabody, the bank manager. Sheriff Bartlett says we're safer than ever. Don't suppose I could interest you in a little more firepower? Might come in handy. Things. Bartlett says we're safer than ever.
found and claimed on the most wanted ha- Hello. Can't say I've seen you before. I just need one more week. I can pay you the $5,000 that I owe, but the governor is bribing my ranch hands to leave, and I cannot do it by myself. Well, why not just sell up to the governor? You could always move into town and work in the saloon. The saloon? How dare you? I just need one more week. I don't think the owner of the bank would approve. Well, maybe I can speak with him myself. I'm sorry, but the governor is too busy for the likes of you. To hell with that evil son of a bitch! He's mine enough gold out of Bear Mountain! What the hell does he want my damn ranch? <clears throat> Man. I'm sorry, sir. How may I be of assistance? I want my money. We have a small problem. Then tell me about the Golden Bear Mountain that young lady was talking about. I'm sorry, I can't disclose anything about our clients. Ooh! Then tell me where she lives. And when I get back, you'd better have my gold. <laughs> but the governor made us a better offer. Good luck, Sam. God, not you too, Sam.
Ma'am? Do I know you, stranger? Tell me about the gold mine in Bear Mountain. I know nothing about a gold mine. You might want to take a trip on down to the saloon in Brimstone. It's always littered with a bunch of drunks yapping about it. But watch yourself, mister. You want no business with the folks in that town. This place is all I've ever known. Ma'am? Five thousand pieces in gold. This'll help me keep my ranch. Ma'am? Do I know you, stranger? Tell me about the gold mine in Bear Mountain. I know nothing about a gold mine. You might want to take a trip on down to the saloon in Brimstone. It's always littered with a bunch of drunks yapping about it. But watch yourself, mister. You want no business with the folks in that town. This place is all I've ever known. Ma'am? Five thousand pieces in gold. This'll help me keep my ranch. I'm saying is if it were me, he lost an arm. Well, maybe, but a cannon? Well, that's too much gun for any man. Ah, uh, cork your whiskey holes. You didn't know him before like I did. Only a cannon could replace that man's arm. How'd he lose his arm? We ain't telling you nothing, stranger. Near as I can tell, we ain't even talking to you. <laughs> Take a walk! <laughs> Answer my question, and I'll be on my way. Well, shut up! Don't tell the stinking prairie dog nothing! <laughs> Ain't that right, Sam? I reckon so. Say goodbye, mister. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Stranger, the only problem is you lost your guns and all the ruckus. Here you go. Looks like you still got some business with them brothers. They ain't what you call kindly failures. Open the damn door, woman. Well, good luck to you. But I gotta look out for myself, so this door is getting locked behind you. Looky what we got here. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a varmint what don't know its own business.
long enough to see the show, bounty hunter. <laughs> there, bounty hunter. That's enough disturbing the peace for one day. Hand over the weapon. I said hand it over. <laughs> Fella such as yourself should know better than to stick his nose where it don't belong. Tell me about the one-armed man. <laughs> What's it to you? He killed my folks. Well, I'll be darned. I'd heard rumors you were alive, but never believed it. You're Nate Harlow, son, Red. Tell me what you know about the death of my family. You see, it all happened about 12 years ago, when the U.S. Cavalry made a little incursion south of the border. Those gringos exactly where we want them. Generalissimo, you're not planning to take on the entire Yankee army. You don't expect me to answer a stupid question like that. Prepare the artillery!
Andale! Andale! This will teach those gringos to cross the Rio Grande! No uniform! He must be a spy. Bring him to me! Take him to the river and shoot him like a dog. No, no, no! I'm not a spy! I'm a businessman! Please! I was just trying to get across the river! Please! I have gold! Lots of gold! Haha! <laughs> you lied to save your pathetic no, life! No! It's true! It's true! I have gold! Bring him to me! It's lots of gold. More gold than you've ever seen. A gold mine. And it's just over the border in the territory. If you spare my life, I can give you half. Huh. Why shouldn't I take all of it? Cause you don't know where it is. You better speak fast. We need some privacy. Now tell me more about this gold mine. Truth be told, there is one little problem. I only own half the claim. My partner Nate owns the other half. And what if I kill your partner? Then that would make us... partners. Partner. <laughs> Where would I find this Diego? He rides through the territory to deliver gold to the governor once a week. He rests his horses at Devil's Fork. It won't be easy. That wagon is like a fortress on wheels. The charges are dropped. If you reckon you can bring him in, dead or... Well, dead'll do. Much obliged.